welcome to the shop today is part three of the welding fabrication table that I'm repurposing an old cook plate for uh, I need to drill lots of holes so there's some holes that are going together today uh, and I'm gonna switch to the overhead camera here in a minute as soon as I work that out uh, to show off some tools that I, I I can't remember the last time I used this big ass drill in my shop but here it is and it's what I'm gonna be using to put the half inch holes through this cast iron griddle plate with so I'm gonna switch over and show that off and then we're gonna go right to the content <clears throat> all right this is the giant drill driver that we'll be putting the half inch holes into the plate with um, and I hope that you enjoy this again I just don't remember how old this thing is it's aluminum body and is probably a million years old but who cares it's mine and it works and I, although I'll probably blow it out and blah 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 so uh, I'll bring you back for that okay got a couple of the bolts drilled or the holes drilled uh, and I need to make a trip to the hardware store and pick up some more fasteners. Uh, and I'll be back to this project when I'm done with that. Alright, back from the hardware store. I had to pick up some longer uh, half inch bolts. Uh, and we'll see if I can get the other camera working and get back to this super monotonous hole drilling awesomeness. Alright, 20,000 years later. So, it really does take a substantial amount of time to drill through the cast iron. Uh, and my batteries on my doohickey here are, are not so, it's really old, so they're not as good as they used to be. Uh, and this thing just, unironically I suppose, doesn't turn fast enough. It's, it's okay, and it needs a new chuck, but that's neither here nor there. I'll fix that later. In the meantime... I've got to get down to the bottom of that so I can put another uh, fastener through it, very similar to that. So 
uh, I'll bring you back once I'm doing something else, I suppose. Alright, 20 years later when the battery charges up, it's still blinking, we'll get back to drilling this last hole over here. Um, and there's already two in the vise, and I'm not going to go as far as putting all four in, just three of them. Um, and I may put one more bolt in uh, across the plate to secure it to the table, but I got a feeling that these four or three that are going in down here are going to be ample to hold this. Uh, it's just so heavy. Like, it's nice because it offsets the weight of the mill on the other side, but uh, I don't know. This has got to be like 300 plus pounds, right? Just 200 and change in the plate, uh, another 60. 50 or 60 in the vise and there's another vise over here out of shot and anvils and all sorts of stuff but the the mill itself is about 700 pounds so uh, I'd like to get close to that on this side and I should be pretty pretty near there so uh, when I come back hopefully the battery will be charged and I can drill that last hole 